Hello, hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday. Um, my name is Tenille Stewart. I help women go from, who are diagnosed with lupus, go from confused and discouraged to healed, hopeful, and in control of the medical narrative. Welcome to my lupus lesson minute. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, pregnancy. I just realized that my uh, friend, I underscore loopy underscore in underscore ADD, I think that's her name, it's something like that, <laughs> uh, also did this topic today or so. So if you want to know more, go to her page. But right now, we're listening, pay attention, we're, we're talking about lupus and pregnancy, okay? Okay, good. <laughs> so Mother's Day was on Sunday, and I had my a podcast guest yesterday, so we didn't get to talk about pregnancy, but I would love to talk about it today. Um, I, if you don't know what lupus is, if you're new to it, lupus, specifically SLE lupus, is systemic lupus erythematosus, and that is basically when your immune system attacks healthy cells in your body, and uh, uses it, attacks it as if it was an uh, intruder. So you usually have like a cold and flu virus that comes into your body, lupus, would, or your regular healthy immune system would blah, 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 attack it. Uh, in this case, lupus is confused. This is your whole body. It's like, oh, everything is an intruder. I will kill it. So it's not great. It's not great. It's not fun. Uh, <laughs> hey, Jean Jean. Hey, girl. What's up? Uh, happy Tuesday. So we're going to talk about lupus and pregnancy, which is a, a bit controversial, unfortunately. But so what I looked up, it says women with lupus can have healthy pregnancies. All pregnancies are considered high-risk pregnancies because lupus can cause complications for both the mother and the fetus, um, including and not limited to blood clots, kidney problems, high blood pressure, premature birth, miscarriage, stillbirth, neonatal lupus, which is like when you have the baby has the heart block thing. I talked about that a few episodes ago. Uh, and I realized you should, okay, you should have your lupus under control or in remission for at least six months before getting pregnant. Uh, which, the way that I see it, I don't know if this is facts, this is facts according to me. A lot of babies are accidental babies, or like, not accidental, but like, oopsie surprise babies. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure that, I mean, that's great advice. You should be healthy in general to have a baby, so. Uh, I just don't know if that's how that actually works, and that's probably why the statistics are statistic in the way that they do, <laughs> because uh, pregnancies are not always planned. But with lupus specifically, or any autoimmune disease, you should really plan your pregnancies if you can. Uh, about one third of women have the blood clot antibodies. I talked about that in a few episodes ago too, uh, that would interfere with the proper function of the placenta most likely in the second trimester, and the placenta isn't able to supply the baby with sufficient nourishment, and the body's, and the baby's growth is slowed. So you will have probably lower birth weights and that kind of thing, which isn't, isn't great for babies, because usually when they're born, they might lose a couple pounds in the beginning because they're learning how to eat. Uh, especially, like, you know, if they're breastfeeding, they don't have a latch yet, et cetera, et cetera. There's a, a bunch of statistics in there. Uh, and what I found was that uh, people that I know who've had really difficult pregnancies uh, with lupus is because they uh, had to get off of a lot of medication because uh, a lot of the medications that you take with uh, lupus diagnosis could be really detrimental to a baby. So um, there, there's, there are a lot of like mixed cancer drugs and like, uh, what is that called? The cancer people get. Um, what is that? Come on, Jean Jean. What's that thing called that they get when you have cancer? A lot of those drugs that are super strong and people even administering the drug, they have to um, wear like protection to be around you. So uh, a lot of people have to get off of those chemo. Chemo drugs. That's the first time. Uh, a lot of those drugs are too strong to, for developing babies. So um, 
the people who I know who have had difficult pregnancies with lupus is because they had to get off a lot of the medications that they were on that weren't helping them. Uh, what else do I want to say? I really feel like this is a somewhat tough decision to make. Um, I've never even been a little bit pregnant, so I haven't had to make this kind of decision. Uh, I have, though, had family members tell me, like, don't ever get pregnant, and it's uh, what, that I was selfish if I were to get pregnant uh, because it would it could risk the baby's life, it could risk my life. I don't think they cared about me as much as a baby, but, like, I understand. And also at that time, I was pretty young, and it really, really pissed me off because don't tell me what to do with my body. And if I felt the need or if I was called to have a baby, I'm going to have a baby with my body over my baby. So uh, that's just something weird that I don't think people should voice their opinions on. There's a lot of other... I know people who've died... Uh, at birth a baby and passed away because of, I don't want to say because, but like the complications, you know, after. Or I know a lot of people who had really beautiful pregnancies with lupus, but then after that had really, really bad um, complications after. Like the flare up uh, basically like made their body function, or not flare up, sorry, the pregnancy made their body work way better than usual. And then after that, uh, after all the hormones were getting back to normal, the flare-up came in really hard and knocked them off their feet. So, you know, do what you will. Get educated. Get on the Googles. Even, like, WebMD still says, like, that a lupus patient should not get pregnant. I just don't believe. I don't subscribe to that. I don't think that's right. Uh, I feel like there was something else I wanted to tell you. Uh, Sound off in the comments if you are a loopy and you have birthed the baby because we want to hear more positive baby birthing stories uh, for the loopies. Because if you want to have a baby, it's a blessing to have that baby. If you don't want to have a baby, you know, be on the rich auntie side of the home. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's your minute. That is your, uh, your facts. There's a lot of statistics about like how, what's the percentage. Uh, I just think it's dangerous to have a baby uh, in general, like just as a human being. And the 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 risk goes up as you're a woman of color, you, depending on where you are, uh, like financially, where you are geographically. The list goes on. So it's all a risk. Also, you could walk outside and get hit by a bus. So you know. Take that all with a grain of salt. You know, believe what you believe in. You know, pray and have a good day. That's it. Like, I don't think it's really... Plan as much as you can. If you cannot plan, if you did not plan, pray as much as you can and get through it. Like, I know a lot of successful and unsuccessful situations. So, but happy Mother's Day to all the baby mamas. I'm proud of you. You did so well. You were the whole human baby. You built that in your whole body weird love that <laughs> uh but yeah that's our lupus lesson lupus minute lesson lupus lesson minute i, I i'll look at what i was calling it but it's it's that there's a lot going on guys <laughs> i'm just i'm just here giving a little fact <laughs> so have a lovely day you loopy mamas and mamas in general i hope you have a beautiful wonderful magnificent mother's day uh and it's what did i even say is Lupus Awareness Month, and that's why we're here. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, so, Thay Elsa, I love y'all. I'm very happy to uh, bring you this information as many days as I can. So far, every day of May. Uh, have a lovely, beautiful day. Bye.